welcome to another opening from Zorox Clone. Today we are brought to you by the three amiibos I got that I unboxed. Um, yeah, amiibos and my iced coffee. That's a that's an homage to a very very old school. Eh, old school. I've been doing this for a few years, but there's a YouTuber out there that would do these kind of things, and he's very cool. Try to guess down below who would kind of bring drinks and various things into their videos. A very chill guy. I'll give you a hint. He's from. Uh, New Zealand, I believe. Australia or New Zealand? Probably New Zealand. He kind of disappeared for a bit. That's enough hints. Anyway, today I'm brought to you the next Mythical Collection box. My apologies that uh, the videos, I kind, of, I kind of became late on the Mythical Collections. I'm one month behind. But this one will be uploaded soon, but you guys are watching. Uh, but I'll be go back to the regular schedule of beginning of the month ish whenever I buy them. Uh, summer's a bad time for me to upload. Forever's been here long enough, and I brought two Millennium packs because I'm into Yu-Gi-Oh now. It's a lot of fun. I actually bought two Korean booster boxes just because they're cheap, and yeah, to me it doesn't really matter the language for Yu-Gi-Oh cards. For Pokemon, it does. Yu-Gi-Oh, not really because you know it's just for my own personal collection. I'm not selling it, and it's kind of. Uh, I'm much into the older cards, kind of nostalgia factors. So we're going to start with these two packs. Uh, these packs also have a lot of reprints in them, so that's one of the main reasons. And oh, I don't like this card I pulled. It's a duplicate. Oh, that's a shame. Anyway, we got Celtic Guardian, Pendulum Machine. This is what Bandit Keith used. Oh, sick, a Karibo. It's not the original Karibo, but it's a Karibo. And Dark Paladin with a Black Illusion Ritual. That's for Relinquished. Dark Paladin. That's a nice ass card. Sick. So we just got a few. I think this is even an uncommon or something, which is a shame because it's a very nice card. But hopefully we can get something a little better. Um, oh! We got Symbol of Friendship. This is a very classic card. It goes back to the first uh, kind of arc of Yu-Gi-Oh! Where they all kind of drew on their hands. Uh, very good card. Well, not very good, but it's a classic card. Next up, we got Black Skull Dragon. Exodia! The Ultimate Forbidden Lord. That's uh, another popular Yu-Gi-Oh! -Yu guy. Yeah, all simply unlucky. Kind of... Yells Exodia whenever, but it's Exodius, the ultimate forbidden lord. And we got Tiger Axe along with a Zyrus Des. It's not Virus. Visor Des. Des. Visor Des. Anyway, um, those packs cost me like three bucks each. Not really any. It's not a big deal. I didn't pull anything big. But now, on to what you guys are here for the Victini pack. And I keep hitting my amiibo. Oh, they actually pack this one differently, if you notice. Uh, my last videos, they kind of glue it, uh, they kind of stick it on so it rips this bit off, but I guess they use glue this time. And I hit the tripod. Classic Zorark's clone. And, yeah, okay. Come on. Open, you son of a bitch. Oh, there we go. Okay, code card will be distributed at the end of the video. Stay tuned for that. We got a classic, Vic, not classic, what am I talking about? I'm just using random words. We got a Victini, very cute card. It's a very light color palette, actually. The background, the grass, the browns are very, it's a very light card. It doesn't feel heavy. Well, looking at it, it doesn't have a heavy kind of feeling to it. Nice. And of course, the main reason I buy these things, the pins, Very sick pen, pin, pan, very nice pin. Pins are the main reason I'm actually buying these. They're very nice. I don't know what I'll do with them, but uh, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, we got a Pikachu and a Blastoise pack. Oh, I'm not sure if I mentioned this. Kind of memory's a bit shitty lately, but I did buy some Korean booster boxes. Uh, if you guys want to see me open that, just comment below. And uh, again, thank you for watching my videos. I have hit... 2 million total views, and these packs are difficult to open for some reason. More difficult than last time when I bought these things. Okie dokie, we got a Caterpie, 
Go Duo, Water Energy, Ghastly, Clefairy Reverse. I have three Dedenes. And a Charizard EX. Hot Diggity Daffodil, man. Holy. I think this card's worth something. You'll see the price, because I, I Charizard's always worth a pretty penny. So, you know, it's, it's probably going to be worth at least a little bit. Uh, Chikorita. Pokemon Fan Club. And Machoke. So, we started off better than those Yu-Gi-Oh packs, that's for sure. But uh, Generations always has some better cards in them. And we're just gonna... Oh, come on. I think the packs have also changed a bit because they kind of, they don't open, um, they open a little harder to see them that way. Yeah, it seems like the packs even got thicker. Okie dokie, we got Paris, Pikachu, Fairy Energy, Zubat, Persian Reverse, Altaria Hollow, oh, Dog Trio, Gulpin, Evo Soda, and Team Flare Gun. Nothing good from that pack. Uh, the Altaria is pretty nice. It has a. It does have a hollow to it, but it's just a uncommon. And a Persian. Uncommon. So, that pack didn't really have much in it, sadly. The Doug Trio was the rarest bit. But, uh, we did get a Charizard, and I. I'm gonna bet somewhere between 20 and 30 bucks. That's just my bet. Anyway, code card. Actually, let's just show off the contents. We got a Victini, and we got a Charizard. Very fiery related pack. And the code card. There you go. Thank you for watching. Make sure you stay tuned for whatever I post next. See ya.